Benvenuti. Welcome to Italy, a land where every gesture, every sip of wine, and every stroll down cobbled streets tells a story. Today we unveil the top eight unspoken rules of Italian culture, secrets that unlock the heart and soul of this captivating country. First, let's talk about alcohol. In Italy, the culture surrounding alcohol runs deep, intertwining with the very fabric of daily life. From the sun-kissed vineyards of Tuscany to the picturesque hills of Piedmont, wine isn't just a beverage, it's a sacred tradition, a symbol of conviviality and communion. Italians have mastered the art of pairing specific wines with foods and cheeses, creating harmonious symphonies of flavor that tantalize the taste buds. Whether it's a robust Barolo paired with hearty pasta or a crisp Pinot Grigio accompanying fresh seafood, each sip tells a story, echoing centuries of winemaking heritage. Hospitality, too, is often expressed through the offering of wine or drinks upon arrival, a gesture that embodies the warmth and generosity of Italian culture. Yet, amidst the conviviality, there lies a subtle reverence for moderation. Italians enjoy alcohol as part of a balanced lifestyle, with a glass of wine at lunch and dinner or a digestive afterward being commonplace. Excessive drinking is frowned upon, seen as a departure from the cherished concept of bella figura, where grace and elegance reign supreme. So, while indulging in Italy's rich wine culture, it's essential to do so with mindfulness and respect, honoring tradition while embracing the joy of shared moments. On we go to the mindset. Italy's regional diversity is not merely geographical but cultural, a kaleidoscope of traditions, dialects, and identities that shape the very essence of the nation. From the majestic Alps in the north to the sun-drenched shores of the south, each region boasts its own unique character, its own culinary delights, and its own cherished customs. The distinction between northern and southern Italy is more than just a geographical divide. It's a reflection of historical, economic, and cultural differences that have endured for centuries. Northerners are often perceived as more punctual and reserved, their industrious spirit mirrored in the bustling cities of Milan and Turin. Meanwhile, southerners are celebrated for their warmth and hospitality, their laid-back lifestyle epitomized by the sun-soaked beaches of Sicily and Puglia. Yet, despite these regional nuances, there exists a common thread that unites all Italians, a deep-seated pride in their heritage and a fierce loyalty to their city or region of origin. For visitors, understanding and respecting these regional dynamics is essential for navigating Italian culture effectively, allowing for richer, more meaningful interactions and experiences. What would this video be if we didn't talk about dressing in Italy? In Italy, fashion isn't just a trend. It's a way of life, a form of self-expression that transcends mere aesthetics. From the cosmopolitan streets of Milan to the ancient alleyways of Rome, Italians take pride in their appearance, effortlessly blending style and sophistication in every outfit. The prevailing style can be described as smart casual, where classic elegance meets modern flair, and attention to detail is paramount. Men often opt for well-tailored suits or crisp shirts paired with tailored trousers, while women exude timeless elegance in chic dresses or impeccably tailored separates. When it comes to footwear, leather shoes are a must, adding a touch of refinement to every step. And let's not forget the importance of grooming. In Italy, a well-groomed appearance is non-negotiable, with impeccable hair, polished shoes, and a hint of fragrance being the norm. So, when in Italy, dress the part, channeling the effortless style and sophistication that define Italian fashion. Ah, the passeggiata, our next point, a cherished Italian tradition that transcends time and place, weaving its way through the fabric of daily life with effortless grace and elegance. As the golden hour approaches, Italians emerge from their homes, filling the cobblestone streets with laughter, chatter, and a palpable sense of joie de vivre. It's a time-honored ritual, a daily celebration of community and connection that transforms ordinary streets into vibrant social hubs. From the historic piazzas of Florence to the quaint villages of the Amalfi Coast, the passeggiata is a testament to the Italian art of living, a reminder to slow down, savor the moment, and embrace the beauty of human connection. So slip into your finest attire, join the procession, and immerse yourself in the timeless charm of the passeggiata, an experience that captures the very essence of Italian culture. Got any value thus far? Consider subscribing. This rule is somewhat different. In Italy, time moves at its own pace, governed not by the ticking of a clock, but by the rhythm of human connection. Waiting, therefore, is not merely a matter of passing time, but a cultural norm, 
a reflection of the value placed on relationships and social interaction. Whether waiting in line at a bustling cafe or lingering over a leisurely meal at a trattoria, patience is not just a virtue, but a way of life. Queuing etiquette may differ from Anglo-Saxon norms, with informal lines and individuals verbally indicating their place in line. Yet, amidst the chaos, there exists an unspoken code of conduct, a subtle dance of politeness and respect that governs all interactions. So, when in Italy, embrace the art of waiting with grace and gratitude, knowing that the moments spent in anticipation are often the most rewarding. Buongiorno to the next rule. In Italy, greetings are more than just words. They're expressions of warmth, respect, and hospitality. Whether entering a bustling cafe or passing a neighbor on the street, acknowledging others with a heartfelt buongiorno or buonasera is essential, a sign of courtesy and goodwill. It's a small gesture, perhaps, but one that speaks volumes about the character and culture of the Italian people. And let's not forget the importance of expressing gratitude. In Italy, a simple grazie can go a long way, serving as a token of appreciation and respect. So, when in Italy, greet others with sincerity and warmth, knowing that these small acts of kindness can forge connections that last a lifetime. On to the rule of smiles. In Italy, a smile is more than just a facial expression. It's a universal language, a silent greeting that transcends cultural barriers and fosters connection. Whether exchanging pleasantries with a stranger or sharing a laugh with a friend, a smile is a powerful tool for building rapport and fostering goodwill. And let's not forget the importance of body language. In Italy, gestures are as important as words, conveying meaning and emotion with effortless grace and elegance. So, when in Italy, don't be afraid to let your smile shine, knowing that it's the simplest gestures that often leave the deepest impression. On to the last rule. In Italy, food is not just sustenance. It's a way of life, a celebration of culture, tradition, and community. From the bustling markets of Naples to the quaint trattorias of Bologna, Every meal is an opportunity to indulge in the rich tapestry of Italian cuisine. Yet when it comes to dining on the go, Italians have a different approach. While takeaway food is readily available, particularly in urban centers, the practice of eating on the go or taking restaurant leftovers home is not as prevalent as in some other cultures. Instead, Italians prefer to savor their meals in a leisurely manner, enjoying the flavors and aromas with friends and family. So when in Italy, embrace the art of slow dining. Until next time, Arrivederci.